Yeah. All right, everyone, Imano Sebastian reporting live in Cameroon under the floodlights, and it is full time here at the room day at Gia Stadium. And the Super Eagles of Nigeria has defeated Sudan by three goals to one. What a start to the tournament for the Super Eagles. What a start for that man, Augustin Egwavo, and what a start for the players. I mean, everyone has put in their shift. Two games played, two wins. You know, I can't begin to mention names of players that have performed so well for the Super Eagles. I mean, Moses Simon has been wonderful, got a goal in this game. Kelechi Enacho, two goals in two games. It's been a brilliant start for the Super Eagles in the total AFCON 2021 Nations Cup right here in Cameroon. Full time here in Cameroon. 3 1 for the Super Eagles. One more game to go in this group stage. What next for the boys? I mean, everyone is going to have game time in the Super Eagles team. It's been a wonderful tournament so far. And everyone is happy. The fans right here in the stadium are happy. Everyone is excited. The stadium is almost full. You know, even the Egyptians are here, must have been in awe of that performance from the Super Eagles. But what do the fans make at full time? Let's speak to one or two fans, what they make their thoughts at full time. Keep it up with us, Emmanuel Sebastian, reporting for Niger Footballers right here in Cameroon. <laughs> All right, it is full time. The Super Eagles have defeated Sudan by three goals to one. What do you make of that performance? Of course, it's expected that Nigeria will defeat uh, uh, Sudan. Uh, I don't see it. I never saw Sudan being a threat to, uh, the, to, the, to the Nigerians. But of course, it was a beautiful game. Uh, we all expected to see the Eagles uh, fly over the Sudanese, or rather fly over the Falcons, you know, fly over the Falcons. And uh, I was very impressed with the play. And uh, um, I, I hope to see Nigeria, of course, move to the next round, get to the next uh, the, uh, quarter finals, get to the finals. That would crowd their efforts. They really done so well uh, in their first game against Egypt. They were very massive and they built on that commitment, that loyalty, that uh, intensity to ensure that they get all the maximum points. I think I'm very, very proud of, of the boys. They are doing very, very well. I'm at a very beautiful game. Um, at this consistency for me because in the, saw the first game with Egypt and now they've done it again with Sudan. And I think this game actually showed that the players now have this freedom to actually express themselves. And they did it again. We see Moses having freedom more. And also Omeru, I think there's a different kind of energy with him. Like most people have seen, and I also say, the players are all playing in sync. So there's this chemistry, one is covering up for the other. So definitely they are doing quite well this tournament. So who's been your player of the tournament so far for you from the Super Eagles? Well, for me, it's they have about two or three. I don't have a particular player. I, I like Taiwa Wuni and also Moses Simon. Moses Simon has been able to give us back-to-back -back performances. And also there's Taiwa Wuni who is playing his first AFCON. Most of them are playing their first AFCON tournament, but you can see the energy in him. So I, I like his play. Okay, from the from the game so far, you can see that Nigeria are well, well prepared for the tournament. Um, two games, uh, four goals. Uh, we just considered one goal which came out came from a spot kick so uh, from the from the game so far i think we are we are we are really ready for the for the trophy we are we are 100 percent ready so what has changed for you so far i mean two wins from two new manager at the helm uh what what are, what are the significant changes you've seen okay now with the new managers now of course we saw we know our general was uh, playing the boys it was more defensive but in this case we are seeing the, uh, the players you know coming out in full force uh, in numbers they are attacking numbers and they're defending numbers they are working as a team you know against egypt for example now i saw the players putting their lives their body on the ball that is something that we've never seen in respire goals but then we, we, we see them attacking in in, in, in numbers and defending numbers nobody if it is a mistake on one part the other player wants support you know defend or you know or should I say, cover up for that mistake we are seeing a team this is what they call a real team now compared to what we saw in the last uh, four, in the last three years under under uh, general we have seen a stability in the game we have seen a team where everybody get involved in the game you have seen a team where nobody get a permanent shirt in the game yeah. everybody is fighting from the game of today you see that everybody is trying fighting to make a shirt this is the super ego we know and this is the super ego we want to be seeing yes that is it